All right, we're back into another Dragon Ball Super Card Game video. Today I'm not alone. Today we have a first place store championship deck profile, deck list, deck discussion, deck interview, whatever you want to call it. I'm not alone. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, what's going on, everybody? <laughs> Why don't you introduce yourself? Let everybody know where you're from, what your name, all that other stuff that you want to tell. Uh, we'll get it going. I'm Michael Washington. I am from Detroit, Michigan. I'm of Team AOD. You probably know me as AOD Garlic Jr. Formerly, but now I am AOD Broly because we had a member leave and I switched my name. Nice. And okay. uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. All right. All right. And of course, if you didn't know on our team, uh, Rob and as well as uh, Dev are are with you uh, sometimes or another, right? Yeah, um, my tra my trainer buddies. So. Y yep. Uh, it, I mean, you, I guess that's what it is for Dev. I, don't, I mean, it's like a punching buddy, more like it for him, but <laughs> that's fine. Um, today we have Hatchiak. Shout out to Russell and everybody else. Shout out to Eddie. Uh, he's gonna be ecstatic to see this one. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in set eight, we had a, a leader called Hatchiak, and he says that you can't attack after you attack with a battle card with tokens or battle cards, energy cost of level seven. You see it on the screen, but uh, is there any refreshers, anything that you want to remind people, and maybe well, even why you picked this leader? Well, I've been a Hatchiak player since it's since its release. Um, I'm always I've always been a control player, like uh. Recently, I played uh, Boma, uh, got third at Indy at the regional, and then um, more recently, I released a deck profile of uh, Blue Yellow Bojack with the Yellow Bojack leader, which is also a control deck. Um, the reason I started playing this leader is because the King Vegeta OTK, I mean, well, FTK, is so obnoxious. I just was, I didn't want to deal with it. So, okay, that's simple enough, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean that it basically says no. Like uh, you, you attack once, or at least one of their battle cards attacks once, which is what they want to do, right? And they want to attack as many times with their battle cards and free plays and stuff like that. So yeah, that definitely makes sense. Okay, cool. Uh, some restrictions, of course, for people who don't remember, or if you're getting into the game, you're 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 pulling up this video. Of course, you can only play black battle cards, and you have to have black cards in your energy only. Uh, mm -hmm. Which, by the way, with the new special anniversary, which is a completely different topic. Man, um, you can charge. I'm, I'm so excited. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's gonna I'm be excited. good. Yeah, it's it's gonna be good because you can uh, charge after you awaken. You only have black battle cards, and then flip it over after you use the activate main. But uh, very very cool leader, and uh, very obnoxious in its own right. I think. And, uh, yes. <laughs> speaking of, here's a list for those who want to just see the list. But why don't you uh, take us through, because we have a couple engines here. We, we talked about it a little bit, right? Where yeah. we have the Catapesla stuff, which gets around its own effect, because it can t attack many, many times by itself. And then, of mm -hmm. course, the um, Gogeta package and the, the new Oceana, uh, Oceanus uh, mm -hmm. gate, which is perfect for the deck, honestly. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, take us through. Okay, so let's start with the police package. Um. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not really a big fan of the police package, but um, this is um, actually the second version of the deck I built. The uh, so I just I couldn't get the rest of the cards for the first version, so this was the version I went with. The one drop uh, just lets you search for search top seven for one of your pieces of your chain. The four drop has barrier and dual attack also you can pay one to negate an attack and then from a battle card and then it negates the effect for the turn um you mm -hmm. can evolve for two with the five drop the five drop just says um warp, warp a battle card you draw a card that's the only one that doesn't have barrier um that one i believe has a uh, dual attack critical if i'm, I'm yeah, uh, double, card, double strike, strike critical. Yeah, right. and then the six, the six drop has it evolves for one. It has dual attack, double strike, critical barrier, and, mm -hmm. and that's you know the six drop is ridiculous. So my yeah. plan, my plan, my whole plan with the deck was to have a six drop uh, policeman on the field with the eight drop Gogeta. That was the that was the whole plan. So it was deny them cards until I win. 
that's, that's basically the whole okay. point of that. Yeah. For sure. Okay, um, nice. I guess we can go over the Gogeta package. Yeah. Um. So the Gogeta package, let's start off with the Unison, which is Son, uh, Son Goku, um, Vegeta Jr. Um, if I don't know what it does, the minus, um, you can play it. For, I play it for one. The plus one, I think, gives him and another uh, vanilla uh, 5K. The minus one, you can play two vanilla one drops from your deck or your drop. And then your uh, minus two lets you shuffle two uh, one drop skillless back into the deck and then draw two cards, which is very useful against like hand control matchups. Mm-hmm. Um, so with that, you play the vanilla you play are the one drop, the new one drop, uh, Xeno cards from set 14, which is Goku and Vegeta, which helps you go into, of course, your uh, Thwarting the Dark Empire, which I play two of, and then your A drop, which I play two of. Funny thing is, Devin screwed me. If you notice, <laughs> I'm playing one of the other six drops in the, the, the martial melee all right card looks the same to me yeah so, <laughs> yeah they kind of so, so imagine my surprise when i'm playing the tournament i try to play that card and i'm like oh huh, it's not the right card yeah so i play, I play <laughs> right. so it's supposed to be a third authority in the darkness i sent you the the list i played because i thought it would be funny but oh, it's, okay. supposed to, it's, it's supposed to be a third authority Oh, okay. That makes more sense now. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, Marshall Melee. All right. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> I mean, I don't think you can play it, but okay. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's the engine. The, re- the reason um, I like the Gogeta engine so much in Hatch is so um, it lets me go aggro turn, if I, especially if I'm on if I'm on the play. <clears throat> I'm sorry if I'm on the draw because I can play one, play my, uh, my unison swing, Play my two vanilla swing with one pass turn. Most mm-hmm. pe- most people turn one aren't going. If they're going to use cards off their hand, or they're going to let two attacks, which is fine. Mm-hmm. Um, being down in life against hatches is a very hard thing. So most of the time, when they swing back, I'm probably going to combo off the, the vanilla I didn't swing with. So it, it's it, it was, it's it's a good the engine is perfect. Mm-hmm. Um, let's go into I guess the other pieces of the deck. Um, the two Gohan, uh, tag team Gohans, I mean, I think it's a staple in Hatch at this point. Uh, whenever a, a, dark, a black battle card is removed by skill, you play him. He's a 15k blocker. Um, you can shuffle him back in with a slug, which is the next card I'm going to talk about, the 4-drop slug. If your um, leader is a machine mute, you can take three battle cards between three and seven, shuffle them back into your deck. And play him for free you can um send him to the drop to warp one of your opponent's battle cards um with a higher cost in their enemy he's a good spot removal and i'm i'm a big fan of this deck because you can recycle so much so many of your resources you can recycle your your uh your negates you can recycle so you know your police package you can recycle the uh the six drop gogetas um, mm. even the, the one of trunks I play, I never swing with it. I, I do what I need to do with it. And then I combo it off just so I can suck it with the slug. So right. at that, at that point, it's no point to play the, the two drop full because it's like, once the fool is gone, it's gone, but you can re- keep recycling your trunks. So you don't have to worry about, you know what I'm saying? you both your a drop Gogeta's being gone or your secret rare being gone. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and then we the Oce- have uh, the Oceanus, right? Yep, the Oceanus. Um, I can't remember the exact text. She, she's a, well, basically, she's a, <laughs> she's a two drop in your hand on their turn. She's a yeah. blocker. And she's, and then, to- she's a topo. Yeah, but she's a topo, but they mill four every yep, time they Yep, they mill four instead of attack. Yeah. Yeah. I got, the, I got the deck in the other room, so I'm sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all good. <laughs> um, you play one of the Dark Mask King. Um, I play one of it because it's not for me because I got so many other six drop attackers that's double strike and you know the police with, with dual attack crit. Mm-hmm. He's not as as vital. I think he the, the most important matchup is probably the blue baby matchup. Yeah, and I can keep 
recycling him. So one for me was fine. I may I played him maybe once the whole the whole event. Okay. Um. I, this the the a drop Gogeta, which is probably the best card in the deck in my opinion. It's really um, good. Yeah. He has triple attack blocker. Um. You can send two. Um. Uh, Gogeta, two of your Gogeta and Gogeta, but Gogeta. Gogeta's to war or, or Gogeta, you can, yeah. From drop or from the field to warp, play him for mm -hmm. four. When he sw he has triple attack, so when he swings the first time, your opponent warps two cards from their hand, and they warp two of their battle cards, ignoring barrier. Mm -hmm. So if my opponent has a unison, I'm 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 like I'm chomping at the bit because I'm only going to attack your unison because I want to deny you cards. That's that's um that's my whole game plan with my version of that. I want to deny you cards, and then swing in twice with dual attack uh critical even if you're at five to six life i could probably kill you from there mm -hmm. so and then he has triple attack also when he, uh at the end of the at the end of the, uh, my turn he restands himself and then when yep. he's in he's in rest he can't be ko by your opponent's skill he's a 35k right. really good card i probably bumped that to three maybe mm -hmm. um of course, play the secret rare. Probably the best black secret rare. It's the Kai. Easily. Yeah. yeah so that's go, that goes without saying. You play. I played two of the Majin Buu. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Like I played it mainly because it, at our locals, a lot of our locals play of some variant of hand control, if not like you know, um, OG Broly or some variant of hand control. I mm -hmm. so I played two of them just to kind of help. But uh, I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Four power bursts. You all know what power bursts do. And then my new favorite card, which is made, which made me look back into hats, is the what's it called? Silver bullet. The, the ultimate card? dragon bullet type yep. deal going on. Uh, yeah, I'm pulling that, it up right now. Yeah, ultimate that. dark dragon flaying bullet. And I'll read the text for you. It's counterplay. Your opponent is playing a unison card. They may even remove a marker for every two cards in their drop or warp, or place it in a drop instead of playing it. If they don't, they can only attack once. Which helps once with more. the leader. Yep, which helps with the leader a lot. But most people are not going to really get rid of their unison. They're just not. So, yeah. like, you can only attack once, and then, you know, the leader. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you only have to focus on defending once that turn. So, that's perfect. And then it also acts as, like, a pseudo... Uh, Remote series bomb. Yeah, so. yeah, that's the activate uh, main or battle, which is uh, they choose one of the battle cards that didn't cost less than the number of their cards in their drop and send it to the warp. Yep. So that cool. was perfect. Nice. Yep, so and then, we, and then you I play four trunks. Yep. Super combo. Uh, as far as the temporal. Like, yep. Yeah, I feel like the the I feel like that's the best super combo because you never mm -hmm. you. you in theory, you never want to go to four life. Because yeah. like, you play this deck to stop aggro. If it's time, for some reason you go to four life, something is going wrong. That That's just mm -hmm. how I personally feel. I feel like something is going wrong if you have, if you have four life. So, right. Um, and that's pretty, much, that's pretty much the deck, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, it's the main deck. And we have the sideboard cards. It makes sense as far as what you've talked about so far from hand destruction to aggro. Um, the blue matchup, uh, and then a couple other copies, and then Turles, of course, which is just another option for the Ghost Warriors. Oh well, um, yeah, I'm, mainly because yeah. you know, and mainly because again, uh, we see we see rebrands, we see uh, we see um, apes being played at our locals. So, oh okay, right. The tur the Turles was that, you know built for me. Yeah. Yeah, you get to warp something from the drop area, and you know that you mentioned locals. That, uh, for especially sword championship, you have as part of the the challenge for those who are going to be playing it these coming weeks um, is to understand you know your local format and your local meta. So mm -hmm. just keep that in mind. That's, a, that's definitely a good reminder. Um, yeah, and I think as I pop this up, I think uh, we go to matchups now that we saw the entire deck. Here's all the matchups. Best of three. Uh, the four different rounds. Um, anything special that happened in any of these? 
Um, so the cell, like my favorite matchup was probably the first matchup was probably the cell surge matchup, which is one of my mm-hmm. homies. Um, he plays cell surge hand control, and the deck he, he the deck killed me game one, and it's not big like it just you don't you don't see enough cards for what cell surge hand control does. So game two and three, I loved it because like I, I think I played um the borrow him maybe like six times game two because you can shuffle the DeBoers back in with your slugs. So mm-hmm. it's, it's like so the, the matchup got so much easier after game uh after game one. So I was like, okay. So that that matchup was pretty good. Um Gay, uh, the Android 16 matchup, it was, it was pretty easy. He should have won game one, but he forgot that um, he can attack twice with his uh, 16 17 from the Evo booster. Yeah, and he, yeah, he got he died on the crack back, so he just he made a, he just made a you no know, mistake. Um, the Vegic matchup was it was that that was that was too easy, surprisingly. Um, that was one of your worst matchups. And it wasn't because he couldn't mill. It's just because he couldn't when his unison hit the board, he just couldn't keep a hand. Because I was mm. I was just going to his unison the whole time. Mm. Gotcha. So and then the Boo Baby matchup, I I think it's winnable once you like once you side. I think it's winnable if you don't side, because Gogeta A drop is the key. But once you side, it should be an easier matchup. I know the the Hill Twins also released the profile, and they said the, they think Blue is a bad matchup. I kind of don't feel that way, but that's just mm-hmm. my personal. I, I'm pretty sure I've been playing Hatch longer than them. So, but that's my personal opinion. So, but <laughs> okay. I had to I had to draw, draw with my buddy, um, and yeah, because I didn't want to sit there for 40 minutes. I'm not gonna lie, like sitting there for 40 yeah. minutes is like. That's a, that's a nightmare. So those were the matchups. Mm-hmm. Okay, for sure. Definitely, definitely um, good info, and just just translates to all the stuff you talked about in the in the deck itself. Um, and again, it's going to be local dependent. It's going to be uh, based on your your local meta. But, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, like if you're yeah. traveling, like I'll, I'll definitely be a Gen Con this year. Um, mm-hmm. If I play this deck, it's probably going to change a lot. But yeah, uh, especially the sideboard. But you know what I'm saying? It's all it's local dependent, like definitely. And then the, honestly the deck was put together last minute. Like I was I played we had two top top championships. I ended up getting second the day before playing uh SS three tempo. Uh, okay. and then and then I ended up getting first um Sunday, so playing gotcha. this deck. Nice. Right. So Okay. Well that kinda of brings us to why the deck, but you kinda of already mentioned it, right? You'd it's just because of King Vegeta and just the anti-aggro yeah. strategy and control, right? So yeah, I'm I'm more cool. I'm com- I'm more comfortable playing control. Mm-hmm. Um, so this has always been one of my favorite decks. But with the you know all the previous metas, the deck yeah. fell out of fell out of favor. So it was like, yeah, definitely, and especially with the unisons, that's that's the tough part. Yeah, um, so yeah, they finally gave us a little bit of something with the uh the, the bullet card to deal with unison sort of. A couple mm-hmm. more cards, but I feel more comfortable playing the deck at this point. So, for sure. And we kind of talked about the turn, you know, the first three turns as far as sequencing goes. But the the biggest plan is just to get out the the Catapesla, and as well as one of the Gogetas, especially the the one that you you pay for, right, up to turn three or four. Yeah, yeah. So, um, me honestly, my I find I find myself playing the Unison turn one. And then um, playing out the Gogetas. I mean, playing out the Vegeta Goku. And then okay. turn two, turn two, you try to uh, you try to go into the one drop into the four drop, mm-hmm. like because again, you're you're on turn two, and then it's not like they're gonna kill you even if you're playing against King Vegeta or whatever. They're gonna the most they're gonna do is put you to maybe like five life, which is still okay, because you don't you don't against King Vegeta you don't attack. Again, you don't attack them. You just combo the two vanillas on your board. So that's at least going to stop one attack. So at that point, right. you're fine. Like, take a two life. That's fine. Whatever. Yeah, for sure. So. Okay. Cool, cool. 
And of course, uh, you really can't do anything with the leader outside of the activate main for the first three turns anyway. So yeah, I mean, you don't oh, yeah. really so, need too much about I, that. I don't think we, I don't think we attack. We saw we said about the activate main. So the way you awaken with the leader, <laughs> yeah, is uh you you uh, put the top card of your deck under him. You mill one to the drop from the top of your deck, and then you draw a card. Once he has three cards under him, you can uh, flip him over, and draw a card, and uh, you send the three cards under him to the drop. Right. So exactly. And uh, that plays into this Lord Slug and all the other stuff yep. uh, that helps with the uh, the drop manipulation. So that's good. Mm-hmm. Um, and then closing thoughts. Are you going to play this going into set 14? We saw, talked about Gen Con. You might play this, right? And then um, anything else that you that you have your eye on? Um, I think I'm going to play against uh, at Gen Con. Um, I'm really going to work on the baby matchup a lot. I have like I have like a crazy, crazy build. Um, like I'm not. I'll, I'll give. I'll give this away. I'm not the biggest fan of the uh, Bardock. Um, okay. Yeah, the two drop unison. Yes. So my instead of playing that, I was playing the new Shinron unison, the one, the the promo where we got. Yeah. Yeah, I can see and that. I, and I also been tinkering around with the uh, the new Goku that came with it. Hmm. Yeah. So I think that's what I'm. Uh, that's what I'm looking into for Gen Con because I think that's. I think that's a really overlooked. I think those two cards are very overlooked. I think they're really mm-hmm. strong. Yeah, I've been I've been tinkering with as well. At least the um, well one I tried it with the red red yellow. Still have to work on that one. And then mm-hmm. the Goku I've been throwing into the uh, the reboot mass lane. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh-huh. To kind of see how that works as well. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, definitely cool cool cards to, to uh, try to at least figure out. Um, but yeah, cool, cool. And then cool. that's the end. Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure Michael will be able to answer anything. If you guys have any questions, Eddie, if you're still watching, uh, please don't an- ask any questions. Um, <laughs> he's literally, dude. Okay. Here's the thing. I'm going to, I'm going to let you know, it, this is going to be still in the video, but <laughs> he is the only hatch Yak player out of locals and he deserves the, what happened to him in our, uh, what was it? The it was like the store regional, like store championship regional. It's the one that was capped at sixty four. Is the one that you that you topped, right? Um, uh-huh. The indie one. But yeah. we had it in Vegas, and we had a max amount of people, like sixty four. But mm-hmm. he was matched with the only other Hatchiac player round one, and they both tied. That's and he right. deserves that. <laughs> he one hundred percent deserves that. Stupid you know Eddie. Funny. Devin, huh. Devin, literally, I told him I was gonna play uh, Hatch at locals because I'm not coming to locals. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Yep, and he, you know, he plays like two decks, and one of them is going to be Hatchiac. So it was a fifty-fifty. You got to be going against it. I, I'm so mad. I'm not going to locals tomorrow. All right, everybody, <laughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. What you want to see a little bit later into set fourteen and the special anniversary box stuff coming out these next couple weeks. I do believe. Um, yeah, say bye. Say bye for us for for them for the audience. Yo, peace out. See y'all later. Later. <laughs>